Hey there, true believers. Rank Srog here with with a, with with a brand new let's play. Almost said with with more or something, but it's brand new let's play time. Brand new let's play. Yes, a brand new Halloween let's play. Ooh, etc. So, uh, depending on what the order I upload these, this will either be one of two or two of two. I haven't decided when I'm going to do that yet. <clears throat> All I know is this one's going to be vastly longer than the other one. So, anyway. Welcome to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. And now here's where the here's where the educated of you say, wait, wait, Rain, you've already done Red Dead Redemption. You just finished it, as a matter of fact. Why is this copywriting? It's not copyrighted. I'll include a black screen there. <sighs> Cyberlink Power Director, you you annoy me. Anyway, you who said that. You've already done this game. Why are you doing it again? I'll say, yes, I did do this game. But I didn't do... Undead Nightmare. So welcome to Let's Play Red, Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. And the color scheme is horrible. Uh, yes, great new save. See, I haven't played this before. Actually, that's a lie. I have. I've recorded this uh, a couple hours of this already and decided to do it again because I messed things up. So, I come to this more educated. Uh, an educated rain? Now, that is scary. So, it was a dark and stormy night, and stuff was happening. Ooh. The game was loading. Ooh. I said the game was load. Yeah, the load times are a little long here. I apologize. Oh, it really was a dark stormy night. Well, I was just being cliche. After months away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. Almost anything. Almost anything. <laughs> nope, called that. And the evil laugh had followed. You can all t you can all take one drink if you call the evil laugh. Yes, we're gonna make this into a drink into a drinking game. <clears throat> so far, darkest from night gets you a drink, and uh, calling the evil laugh gets you a drink. Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his highfalutin ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Uh, is that better? Your lordship. Much better, mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you've finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly, at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, Father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy and wolves howling and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Fish swimming. Uncle make it back yet? 
I thought he was with you off drinking in the fields. I mean working, as you call it now. Uh, he went into town a few hours ago after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. One more drink. Well, that old man can take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You can't psychic, Paul? Either that or... I ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking... Seems more than likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I am starving. Well, the Marston family gets along as well as usual, at least, which is good. What you reading? Just some book about monsters. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> that should suit me just fine. Well, it's all about, in ancient times, how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun. But during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead. And upset the aliens. equilibrium of things. Oh. So anyway, w what it involves is... There's this one guy who goes out in search of this... And John has stopped paying attention. <laughs> and this is more him being happy to being with his son. I think that's what this is supposed to be. But it's him just that's starving his face to me. So anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody. Which is absolutely disgusting and completely unbelievable. <laughs> getting late. Guess we're not gonna see Uncle till morning. Come on then, Abigail. <sighs> Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Ain't you worried about Uncle? Sure, but he'll have to wait till morning just like any other man would in his shoes. Good night, son. Don't stay up reading too late. So good. It's an, it's an understatement, John. What is going on? What the hell is wrong with you? Where's your bastard? He has the right idea, at least. Where are you going? Where are you going? To get my gun. That's that. Or wait, apparently it isn't. You brought this there we yourself. go. Now that's that. How did I miss? I can't believe I had to kill that poor bastard. I. Well. You okay, darling? You okay? Oh. Abigail. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Jack! Get out here! Now! Oh, good lord, what's happened? Mama! Careful, boy. Mama! Mama! Oh, Mama! Just stay right there, the pair of you. Don't make me no widower now. Look how John's still in his long underwear. I know it makes sense, but it's still funny. Oh, great. 
Then again, we have the lasso, so. Now stay there while I deal with your half-witted son. Yeah, we can't. We can't kill Abigail or Jack. It's totally against John's morals. If you act like a child, I'll treat you like one. Tying you up and throwing you on a bed. Wait. That didn't come out right. The floor. <laughs> Close enough. Just happens to have some some meat. Now, I don't know what the hell's gotten into you sick crazy bastards or what else was done to you, but I'm going to get help. Stay calm. As calm as you can, seeing as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited. Probably just a fever. Jack, be kind to your mother. Abigail, teach the boy right from wrong. Both of you, stop biting chunks out of people. I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh, John. That's why we all love you. Be able to find some comedy and everything. Or at least be sarcastic. One of the two. That is a good idea. Guess I best go find me a doctor in town. Yeah, because doctors can clearly help this. Anyway, that was that were an undead nightmare. Ooh, zombies and shiz. So, is this more Hall Halloweeny than Costume Quest? I think so. Uh, first things first, though, we have to uh, because ah, uh, went too far. There we go. We're gonna pick some. There we go. Much better for zombie killing. Trench coat. Now, this is one of the few living horses in the whole game. Um, enjoy him. He probably, he probably won't stay alive that long, and he'll be replaced very quickly if I, if I, can, uh, if I can help it with a uh, much better horse. But I have to get down, 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 down into New Austin for that, so we have some time. In the meantime, a living horse. And a plane. Surprisingly devoid of zombies. Oh. Come on. So, oh. Blow it up now. This is my turn. I was admiring the surprisingly stable scenery. Oh yeah, and the awful color scheme. Yeah, well, it's like yellow and green. Now, just be ready for this though, because it gets worse. Ew, this map is horrible. We we, we caught a quick glimpse of it already when I put my waypoint, but still, it's horrible. Look at it. Ew, bad bad color scheme. The, th the theme we were going for was eyesore. Anyway, let's see if let's see if anyone in Blackwater Black, yeah, Blackwater has a clue as what the, as what the hell is going on. Well, I have my doubts, but you never know, right? Oh, horse senses evil or something here. Some don't feel right here. Hey, you don't say, it, John. Alright, let's try to hurry through town as best we can, because, you know, undead. I think they're around here somewhere. Just gonna keep an eye out. Mr. Marston, sir! Marston! It's me! Oh, great, it's you. What are you doing here? I thought you went back to Yale. Well, I did. But, uh, I came back uh, for another round of research, <laughs> and now all hell is quite literally broken loose. What is going on? 
Well, well, sir, I am a man of science, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man, and I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. Why that dandy? What, what should we do? Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors, band together, and find a cure. Or fight to the death trying. Well, well that sounds great and all, but, uh, but I'm uh, just peachy. But, but I'm not sure that I'm, I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. I, I was thinking more that uh, finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the events from the comfort of my study. I'm a scientist after all, right? I mean, I, I, I can't do much science if I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? Much as I would like. Your sense of duty is very impressive, Professor. I'm gonna search the back street for survivors. No, no, be, perhaps staying with you would be safer. Uh, could, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? I, I'm going to wander down that lonely, deserted street and get my bag. Wait, you should stay with me, Professor. You haven't got a gun. Oh, no, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's already dead. <laughs> I left my stuff with Mr. Nastas. Uh, you remember him, uh, Indian fellow, dumb as bricks, but, but a good sort. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, meet me in a couple minutes. Affirmative. A couple of minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a quick shower, have some sex. Couldn't help, couldn't hurt a survival chance. And zombie Nastas. <laughs>